Hey everybody and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 23 career mode where we are of course on deadline day. Three hours left. Any more business to be done? I probably don't think so. I'm happy with what we've done so far. None of you want to sell on Kunku. I asked you about that because we had received a massive offer for him. So I thought, you know what, I will just have a little look um, and see what you guys want to do. But the offer's there, like 111 million from Ajax, but everybody... And I mean pretty much everybody, apart from the odd person that wanted to trade him for Vlahovic, is up for rejecting it. And so am I. I just want to check with you guys first. But I don't expect more deals to be done from, from our side. We'll advance through the end of the window, see if any more bids come in. If there's any more things that we need to consider. And then we'll have a look at some of the biggest deals that have gone on. Real Betis want Dujon Sterling. I thought that was going to be Raheem Sterling then. Um, I should really... Send him out, I suppose, because he doesn't play. I just don't want people going with options to buy because we may, may use these guys in the future. Really happy with the inbound business that we've done, by the way. Obviously, Martinez has come in. Hazard probably wasn't planning to bring him back, but there's no way I was going to let him go to another Premier League club for a snip of under 20 million. So we made sure we got our uh, our offer in. We know he wanted to come home. It'll be interesting to see how he does. He's happy to be a sporadic player, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is transfer deadline day done? Got email about prize money. Oh, 142,000. Thank you. 581 million pounds was spent. So fairly quiet, actually. Pretty innocuous transfer deadline day. Um, and Broya's loan move to Celta. A lot of you said keep him around. So we're going to do that. Now, if we're looking at just January deals, um, some free agents have gone. Audrey Zola's gone to Leicester. Big horse to go from Burnley to Nice. L Chadwick, is that little Lukey Chadwick? He's about 95 years old now. But I'm not actually really interested in January ones only. I want to see the biggest deals. The biggest deals that have gone through. Ours was the biggest. That Lotaro Martinez and Lukaku swap plus 65 mil was uh, the biggest deal. Uh, Verts uh, has gone to Atletico Madrid. He was left in the comments as a possible inbound uh, suggestion, actually. 107.3 million. Brilliant, brilliant signing from Atletico. Um, that is some fee, isn't it? Fast own defender going to Leipzig for 101. That happened in the summer. We know about that. In terms of Jan, Tonali was the other biggest one. Which is also us. Obviously, £90 million. Pounds. The Verts now. The Verts still happened in the summer as well. I'm getting confused here. Oh, here's a, here's a January one for you. Usman Dembele um, has gone from Barcelona to AC Milan. Was linked with uh, Chelsea many, many times in the in the past. Got injury problems, which is why I'm a bit against bringing him. Milinkovic Savic gone from Lazio to Real Madrid. Very good signing. I think from a Real Madrid point of view. Kulusevski's gone from Juventus to Manchester City. Interesting. So he finished up at Spurs. Back to Juventus now at City. 59.3. City, of course, sold Mares to Spurs. So this all might have been part of the part of the plan as such. Nabil Fakir goes to Inter Milan for 59 million. I think he's getting on a bit now, isn't he, Fakir? So that's quite quite a high fee paid for somebody such as that. But we're getting into it. Look, Cucurella, yeah, I sold him. Not a fan. Hasn't been good in this career mode. Hasn't been good in real life. Not really needed. We've got Madsen. We've got Chilwell. Um, so that's why I decided to cash in on, on him. And other than that, James, oh, James Madison. Oh, do you know what? I th Every time I get lower and you start to get under 50 mil, you think, right, there's going to be no big deals here. James Madison's gone to Bayern Munich. If I'd known James Madison was available for 43.6, I would have looked to have brought him in. We do have a lot of attacking midfield options, though. But it would have been... Maybe a, a bit unnecessary and a bit of a waste. But when you can pick up a player that talented for 40 mil, you do it, don't you? Newcastle United want in Ian Madsen. That's obviously not happening now that we've sold Cucurella. Reject that. Another bid coming for Broyer as well. Loan bid. Rejecting that too. And we've got an email here. Seville. 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 I want uh, Declan Rice for 68.1. I would snap your hand off to have Declan Rice for 68.1 million. But West Ham won't let him come to us. They won't negotiate with us. Anyway, we've got a little Premier League game now. Someone says, if no football's been played for ages in this career mode, that's what it feels like. Anyway, that's what the league table looks like. We are five points clear at the top with with a game in hand. We're taking on Crystal Palace next, which if you look, are struggling. Four wins, three draws, and 17 defeats in their opening 24 games. I'm looking to pile on the misery. Now, like I said to you before, I want to get all these attacking options, or as many of them 
on the pitch at the same time as possible. So that's why I've switched back to the 4-2-3 one. If it doesn't work, we'll stick to the 4-3-3, which has been working well for us. But Martinez and Kunku in the 10 role, out and Pulisic will be the front four. Denali and Gallagher in midfield. Chilwell, Vardy, Old Koulibaly. Captain Reese James today in the absence of Thiago Silva with obviously Mendy in goal. 4-3-3 for Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha, obviously the main man that we need to keep quiet. And if you're wondering, yes, yes, there is a place in the matchday squad for Eden Hazard. I'm not going to take the number 10 off Pulisic and give it back to him, though. Someone said that in the comments. No, Pulisic will keep the 10. Hazard, when he first joined Chelsea, was 17. That's not available either because that's with Liao. So he's going to take the next number with a 7, which is the number 27 shirt. Obviously, he's going to be a sporadic player anyway, so that makes sense. But Hazard, 27. On Chile, Finale, Gallagher, brings it out to Pulisic, he was quite good against England in the World Cup, wasn't he, to be fair, oh my goodness me, didn't quite do that, but let's talk about that goal, Christian Pulisic, always up for debate about whether we start him or whether we give Havertz a try or whether we play Sterling, he's repaid our faith in him today, what a, I had no option, so I thought, you know what, just... Just try one from distance. Look at the dip on it. Labali into Gallagher's feet. Gallagher's lost it. Obviously spent time on loan here very successfully. So probably fond memories of Selhurst Park. We look at our bench, by the way. Kovacic, Raheem Sterling, Eden Hazard, Kai Havertz. It's, it's frightening. We look to release Martinez here. Not the kind of balls he will feed off, though. But I do like to try and get forward quickly where we can on the counter. Palace looking to do the same. Chilwell. Acrobatically denies them. Corner driven to the edge. Pulisic again. Pulisic again. <gasps> so unlucky. He's got his shooting boots on today, ladies and gents. What an effort that was. Poor corner. It wasn't actually where I was intending it to, to go. I'm going to go Gallagher. That could say it once more. Pulisic. Oh, I don't know what I was doing then. Connor Gallagher. Just, the word just wouldn't come out of my mouth. Great football, though. We're comfortable. Very comfortable. Oh, Gallagher, big tackle. All right, Palace have themselves a corner here. And it comes in, Mendy with the save. Not well defended at all. How have they got through? How have they got through? He's changed. Oh, he's fallen. Oh, Koulibaly, good defending. Surely that's a foul. They're not just trip Koulibaly there as he tried to clear it. No? Okay, nothing given. I went into the arms of Mendy anyway, so no harm done. Here's Lee out. Finds Chilwa on the overlap. Go on, Ben. Anyone in the mixer? Not really. Gonna have to come backwards. He out. Dancing his way through. Chilwell. Gallagher. Tonali. Look at the play between. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Look who's put it in the back of the net again. He just can't stop scoring, Martinez. But the football... Between Gallagher, Tonali, short, sharp, one touch, passing and moving. Look at it here. Oh, it's brilliant. And the finish, first time, low and hard. Great stuff. Liao, Liao, Liao. Oh my God, what is happening in this game? We're playing the 4 2 3 1, right? Which, which means the three players behind the striker can interlink. They've got so much time and space that we're able to get shots off like this. Pulisic scored a worldie. That might just be up there with it. But at the same time, we played some sexy football to cut open the defence and score what's a more typical goal. But this is incredible. With the game in the bag, look what we can do. Hazard returns to Chelsea. Havertz coming on as well. Camera's focusing on him. But Eden Hazard is back on the pitch in a Chelsea shirt. And I think most Chelsea fans, even though we know he's not the player that he used to be, would love to see that at some point. Oh my goodness, Palace come forward. Good save from Mendy. Corner. Havertz beaten in the air. Mendy makes a comfortable, yeah, acrobatic save. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. See the player waiting behind Mendy then, waiting for Mendy to drop it. But here he is, ladies and gents. Here's Hazard. Go on, go for it, Eden. Plays it off to Gallagher. Gallagher looking to pick out Pulisic, who started this route. Did an absolute worldie. Reese James. Pulisic. On one more. Gallagher's there. Great save from the keeper. Made himself big, didn't he? 
Didn't go to ground too early to make it easy. But Nkunku wants to get in on the act. Why not shoot from distance? He's had a look at the other goals and thought, I'm having a go too. In all honesty, you can see why Palace are 19th. They've been so poor. Even their squad on paper when we looked at the lineups, poor, wasn't it? Other than like Wilfred Zaha, Milivojevic, maybe because he's got Premier League experience. But we're just all over him today. They haven't had a sniff. Oh, that's a good bit of play. Vardy Olt steps in nicely. First bit of real defending we've had to do. They've had a couple of half chances, Palace, but never really threatened, threatened. Here he is. Here's the man. The man of the moment. Hazard. Oh, look at the chop back inside. Two years ago, they've done that. Here he is. Hazard! Oh, my God! He's going for long shots today. Who's that? It's Hazard. He's won it back. He desperately wants to grab a goal on his return, you can tell. Keep in possession. Gallagher. Finale. Out this way, Havertz. Pulisic drives it across. Oh, look who was coming in. Little fat Hazard. I don't call him fat. That's harsh. Havertz. Hazard. Havertz. And Kunku's offside, I think. We're going to keep going, these two. There we go. There we go. Palace just must be looking at the talent that's running at them and going, what on earth shall we do? And Kunku makes it four. We're running riot in South London here. And it's been so, so comfortable. So comfortable. That's the frightening thing, I think. Havertz with the assist. Easy finish. Look at that. Even just a ping from the centre-back. Wow, Pulisic. Oh, no. That's a good ball. Vardy Olsen defended to do. Mendy, of course, will want that clean sheet. Goalkeeper's pride and all that. We're going to get it here. We might even get another goal. As Havertz makes a run. Look, the defender's just not going with him. Defender's just not going with him. Kai Havertz. Oh, good effort. Not going to have time to take the corner. Palace nil, Chelsea 4. I don't even care. What a, what a result. We scored some lovely goals. We played some sexy football. Look at that, guys. 25 games gone. Eight points clear at the top. Leicester City next. They're in ninth. Eight points clear. If you mess it up from here, with what we've got, 13 games to go, you don't deserve to be champions. And this is your team for the Leicester. Slightly rotated. Uh, slightly rotated. You've got Matson coming in at left back for Chilwell. Thiago Silva comes back in to partner Koulibaly and takes the armband as well. Enzo Fernandez and Kovacic will be the holding midfield players. Diego Martins and Kunku Pulisic gets a start after his good performance at Selhurst Park. And Martinez, the informed Martinez, who can't seem to stop scoring since we signed him, will be up top. 4-1-4-1 for Leicester. Jamie Vardy, the man to stop. We know the pace. We know he's a, he's a workhorse. We know if he gets an opportunity, he'll take it. So we've just got to be aware. But other than that, they're setting up pretty defensively. And I want to test Danny Ward. In my opinion, he's not the greatest goalkeeper. So, uh, plenty of shots. Good ball. Here goes Vardy. Reese James got the pace. Stay with him, though, luckily. Wouldn't want a foot race between Vardy and Thiago Silva. Look at Kovacic coming back. Doing his defensive work. Here's Nkunku. Didn't know whether to go left or right there. And I took too long to decide. Leicester, without James Madison, of course. Following his uh, big money move or... Small money move, I should say, in this world. Day and age. Bayern Munich. Playing poorly. There's a bit of high press here. We can't play out like we could against Palace. Chance for Leicester. Goal for Leicester. Okay. Wakey, wakey, boys. Not the start we had in mind, but we have been sloppy in possession. We've won it back and then just given it straight back. You know, impatiently trying to just smack it forward. Any away fans here at the bridge get to celebrate. Not the start we had in mind. Lovely little finish, though, into the near post. Mendy disappointing a bit. Good ball, Matson. Oh, he's been in court. In court. Maybe rotating the team against Leicester wasn't the way to go. Not that. Here we go. Okay. Right. Let's just shut up and concentrate here. Martins. Go on, boy. You've got the pace. Martinez is going. Oi. That is nasty. Martins was past him. And he's like two footed lunged back into his calf. Got to be at least a yellow. Martinez was about to be played in. Let's have a look at that. Martins just gets the. That's terrible. Reese James into the feet of Latara Martinez. No time to turn. That's good defending. Right on his on his back. As soon as the ball come into his feet, they were on him. Good interception though from Fernandez. There's a good ball. Christian Pulisic could be in. Could equalise here. Pulisic has done. 
He's in fine goal scoring form himself at the moment. We weren't behind for long. Captain America, or not, no longer Captain America. He hasn't got the armband anymore, has he? But he's equalised for us here. That's all that matters. Good interception from Fernandez. The ball was played through to him. And Pulisic does the rest. We've got an injury. Martinez. Not sure why. Was it that challenge on him earlier when the ball came into his feet? I don't know why he's injured. I'm not happy about it, obviously. We'll keep our eye on that. Might have to make a change. If he doesn't shake it off. Here's Koulibaly. Fancy's a little run. Fancy's a run. Here's the ball into the feet. Martinez finds James. Onto Nkunku. Back to James. Ball played out wide. Into the feet of Nkunku. Oh, I was trying to just take it in my stride. Never mind. Not the best bit of play. Oh, cover. That's nasty. A bit late there. Left a foot in. Good game, this. Really good game. Grappy. Both teams fighting for it. Some nice football being played as well. Leicester could be in here. Thiago Silva, well played. Koulibaly with a heavy touch. Could have opened the door here for Leicester. It's a nice back heel. Madsen's been nutmegged. And that very nearly squirmed under Mendy. Shocking defensively. Absolutely shocking all round. Here's Martinez and Kunku making a run. Martin's making a run. We've found Martins. Needs a bit of support in the box. Needs to be better than that. Want it back though. And he's found Nkunku, I think. No. Grappy. Grappy first half. Cover. Interception. Nkunku. Needs a runner. It's Christian Pulisic. Touch. Set yourself. Oh, good hit. Ball loops up. It's going to go over the bar. Not the best half, that one. Not the best half. The good news, there was 45 minutes remaining for us to sort it out. Martinez. Seems okay after that injury, I won't lie. Here's uh, Martins. Into Nkunku. Martinez could be in here. Great defending. They're not giving him a sniff. It's like he's being man marked. Danny Ward thought about turning there. Martinez read him. Just panicked him into a clearance. But yeah, 45 minutes, guys, to play like a team who want to be eight points clear at the top of the table. Got to get result here. Vardy being a nuisance. Doc horror. That's good from Reese James. Terrible from Pulisic. Never really had the ball under control. Mendy. Mendy keeps doing that thing where he's falling back like and laying on the ball. I always think it's going to squirm under him. Dressing me out. Ball into feet of Vardy. Thiago Silva somehow takes it off him. And Kunku. Fernandez. For Martins. Here is Martins. Pereira for company. He's got no one in support at the moment. And Kunku is there now. Fernandez. What a tackle. What a tackle. It came out of nowhere, didn't it? So did that one. In a scrappy game, like I said to you. Another good tackle. Both teams fighting fire with fire here. Leicester on the break. Vardy. They've opened us up a bit here. Matson trying to get back. Thiago Silva. Putting himself in the right place at the right time to clear that cross. Martinez doesn't appear to have shaken off that injury. Chaos this game. Chaos. Martinez now. Looking for the run of Nkunku. Who could be in. Nkunku's got the wrong side of the defence. Drive it across. Goal. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness me. I'm so glad we didn't accept that offer. My word. How has he smashed that in from there? I'm actually in shock. This will be the perfect angle to see it. It was hopeful more than anything. It's hit the bar and the post and ended up in the back of Danny Ward's net. Wow. A couple of changes being made. Lataro Martinez coming off after that injury. And Sterling on to replace Liao. And Kunku. Time to turn, maybe. No support. Could go all the way on his own here. And he might. Full of confidence. Look at the injection of pace. What a solo goal this would be. He just tried to slot it under Danny Ward. Who managed to smother it. Unlucky. Brilliant play from Nkunku. Here's Broya. Nkunku again. Finds Broya, who is onside. He lied. Big winner from Kovacic. Broya, good hold-up play. Jim Sterling, injection of pace from him. He's someone in the middle. He's got Broya near post. And Kunku... Oh, wish that. Wish that connected. Would love to see where, where that ended up. That acrobatic effort. Oh, Thiago Silva, that's not good. Still scrappy. Not great, but we're winning somehow. I can't say we deserve it, to be fair. That's a better ball. Here's James. Lovely touch. Into Kovacic. Kovacic. Got options. 
Beast James being one of them continuing. No, he wasn't. Surely not. And Kunku into Broya. Broya, lovely ball out wide. If we can knock this on first time, and Kunku could be in again here. Bang. When it works, the power strike is beautiful, isn't it? Poor old Danny Ward. If he'd have saved that, he'd have got whiplash. He'd have had a bad back, sore palms, all of it. What an unbelievable finish. I don't think the celebration's quite necessary, to be honest with you. We were already winning the game. But the venom in that strike, the frustration in that strike from Nkunku, look. Whack. Two unbelievable goals he scored today. Yes, Thiago Silva, Fernandez. Oh. Yes, Cover. That's to falling apart a bit now. We've knocked the stuffing out of them. Oh, that's a brilliant bit of play. Broya, can he finish it? Power strike from Broya! We're getting them in now. We're flying. They're falling apart. Danny Ward. Is there anything he can do about these? That one seemed to be a bit of a tight angle from Broya going away from goal, but he has absolutely drilled it. Let's have a look at this angle. It's just the power that's beat him, isn't it? Good play from Leicester. It'll be 4-2. Mendy comes out. Oh, Matson, what a challenge. Oh, how has that still gone in? How has that still gone in? Brilliant piece of defending initially. And Vardy makes it 4-2. And still decides that he wants to celebrate with Brendan Rodgers. Someone tell him. But the first tackle, look at this. From Matson, douche, that saved a goal. Silver stumbled, Mendy just ran around like a headless chicken. Anyway, there's your full-time whistle. Chelsea 4, Leicester 2. How we've scored four goals today, I, I don't know. Look at that, people saw that tackle on video and now they want Matson on loan. Not happening, he stays because we sold Cucurella. But what I'm going to do now is have a little look at the Premier League standings. Oh, actually, I'll show you the, the Champions League draw in full first of all because we've got Villarreal. It was a giant match between Juventus and Barcelona. Leverkusen versus Inter. Spurs and Atletico Madrid. And uh, Leipzig versus Real Madrid. PSG v Roma. United v Dortmund. That's a good tie. And City v Bayern. City have got a two-goal ag aggregate lead already. That is nuts. That is nuts. But yeah, we take on Villarreal next um, in our very next game. But I want to have a look at the Premier League table. And I want to have a look at some squad uh, player stats as well before we... We do one here. If you want to see the Europa League and the other, you know, the Conference League in more detail, just simply pause it on those screens. But eight points clear, 12 games to go. Liverpool in second, but with 13 points clear of third place Manchester United and fourth place Tottenham. That is insane. Everton absolutely flying. One point behind those teams. City down in sixth. They'll be disappointed with that. Arsenal down in 12th. I don't even need to speak about that. They'll be bitterly 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 disappointed there but let's have a look at some player stats because i believe we've probably got someone in the running for the golden boot no the top scorer still still cr7 moise keen at everton with 16 that's why they're flying and kunku 15 goals in 21 games yeah no wonder nobody thought about selling him 21 games he's played the least of pretty much everybody in the top 10 on this list he has 15 goals in 21 games is a good return. Alexander Isak also on 15, but in 26. Nunez as well on 15, but in 25. Maxwell Corne and Angel Correa doing bits for West Ham too. Mo Salah with 12. Gabriel Jesus with 12. Foden with a big return of 12. Luis Diaz on there as well. In terms of assists, Thomas Partey, ooh, Thomas Partey uh, is uh, top with 8 in 26. But Nkunku also right up there as well. Alongside Mount and Raheem Sterling, and Christian Pulisic, and Conor Gallagher, Kovacic, and Liao, all inside the top 15. That's pretty cool. Next episode, we're going to be back to three games, guys, because I want to plough through the business at the end of the season, because I'm excited to see what we can go on and achieve. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Appreciate you still being here and supporting the series and liking the vids and commenting on the vids and all that jazz. What happens if we win everything? Will there be a season three? I don't know. Cross that bridge when we get there. Let's win everything first. And we'll talk about that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. See you later.